Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for your 2012 U of S graduates.
Would the graduands please turn and face the platform? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Spring Convocation 2012. Would you please join our vocalist, Alison Walmsley, in the singing of O Canada, and then please remain standing for the invocation. God, whom we call by many names, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude. Thank you for giving these graduates the strength to learn and discover, and for being with them on their educational journeys. Thank you for guiding their teachers and the staff of this great university, and for giving these graduates the support of their families and friends. We ask you to bless these new graduates in all their future endeavors. Please be with them, guide them in all their paths through life, wherever those paths might lead them. Help them to use their education for productive lives, giving back to society a full measure of the blessings that they have received. In ancient Hebrew, we say a special blessing for festivals and life cycle events. Praised are you, master of the universe, for sustaining us and for enabling us to reach this special occasion. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Shecheyanu v'kiyamanu, and we all say, Amen. Would you please be seated? Again, graduands and distinguished guests, welcome. My name is Lee Panic. I'm the university secretary, and I have the honor of introducing to you the members of the colorful platform party that you see before you. So beginning in the front row, at my left and your right, Russ Isinger, registrar and director of academic services. Cecilia Reynolds, dean of the College of Education. Lawrence Martz, Dean of the College of Graduate Studies and Research. Lori Helston, Associate Dean of the College of Education. Sean Murphy, Graduate Chair for Curriculum Studies in the College of Education. Lynn Lemisco, Assistant Dean, College of Education. Brett Fairbairn, Provost and Vice President Academic. Peter McKinnon, our President. Vera Pezzer, our Chancellor. 
Blaine Favel, recipient this afternoon of the Honorary Doctor of Laws degree. Jared Brown, President of the University of Saskatchewan Students' Union. Cam Broughton, MLA for Saskatoon Massey Place. Paul Merriman, MLA for Saskatoon Sutherland. Robert Badger, Traditional Knowledge Keeper. Neil Schwartz, University Chaplain. Judy Bozowetsky, member of our Senate and a representative of the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association. And in the second row, Robert Harris Simchuk, President of St. Peter's College. Murray Scarf, a representative of the University of Saskatchewan Retirees Association. Gary Standing, a member of our Board of Governors. Grit McCreef, member of our Board of Governors. Kevin Weitenheimer, Ministry of Advanced Education. Hope Belinsky, Associate Dean in the College of Nursing. And the following members of our Senate, Shirley Haynes, Kurt Brecker, Faye Puckett, and Helga Fellainer. And behind them, and I'd ask them to stand, members of the faculty of the University of Saskatchewan. Would you please join me in expressing to all of these faculty, administrators, and members of our governing bodies our thanks for the work that they've done by supporting, teaching, and encouraging our graduates. Could I ask uh, Mr. Blaine Fable to stand, please? Madam Chancellor, it is my great pleasure to present to you Mr. Blaine Favel as the recipient of an honorary doctorate at this convocation. Mr. Favel was named to the College of Education Dean's Honor Roll for four consecutive years, and he is a graduate of the ITEP program and holds a Bachelor of Education from the University of Saskatchewan. This means that this year, along with 1,300 others, he is celebrating the 40 years that ITEP has been a part of the U of S. And he is joining 30,000 other alumni of the College of Education. Mr. Favel also holds an LLB degree from Queen's University, and he was awarded the Global Initiative Scholarship and was the first Canadian First Nations person to obtain an MBA from the Harvard Graduate School of Business. Mr. Favel is an alumnus of the U of S Native Law Center's Program of Legal Studies for Native People. Blaine Christopher Favel was raised on the Poundmaker Cree Nation. His grandfather, Chief Henry Favel, and his father, Chief Thomas Favel, passed on many teachings to him. During his time as chief of the Poundmaker Cree Nation, Chief Blaine Favel established the first community-based justice program for First Nations. As Grand Chief of the FSIN, Chief Favel helped to create the Saskatchewan Indian Gaming Authority, and he established the First Nations Bank of Canada, the only Aboriginal-controlled bank owned by First Nations people. SEGA, now employs in excess of 10,000 First Nations people, and the organization reinvests in infrastructure and education to assist First Nations. In 1996, Mr. Favel undertook the demographic study entitled Saskatchewan and Aboriginal Peoples in the 21st Century, Social, Economic, and Political Changes and Challenges and he implemented the treaty implementation process with the Office of the Treaty Commissioner. In 1997, he was named to Maclean Magazine's 100 Canadians to Watch annual list. Mr. Favel has served as Counselor on International Indigenous Issues to Prime Minister Jean Chrétien, during which time he advocated for global recognition for the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. He has been a member of the law firm Bennett Jones and was an investment banker in the energy group with RBC Capital Markets Energy Group. 
He also served as senior personal advisor on economic and political issues to First Nations National Chief, Mr. Phil Fontaine. Currently, CEO of One Earth Oil and Gas Incorporated, an energy company that works primarily within Aboriginal lands to explore and develop oil and glass reserves in full partnership with Aboriginal people, Mr. Favel is the founder and director of One Earth Farms, Canada's largest farm, developed in partnership with 40 First Nations across Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. Mr. Favel is a panelist on the Indian Residential Schools Truth and Reconciliation Commission, and he serves as a board member of the Calgary United Way, heading up an initiative to increase the number of Aboriginal children graduating from Calgary schools. He has been a member of the Calgary Committee to End Homelessness, and he was on the Board of Governors of the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology and the Saskatchewan Human Rights Commission. In nominating Mr. Fable for this honorary degree, one of the nominators, Dean Mary Burr of the College of Agriculture and Bioresources, indicated that he, and I quote, has been influential in the creation of innovative educational programming in partnership with the college. She goes on to say that Mr. Favel has always been focused on academic excellence coupled with practical application and attention to the creation of supports to contribute to student success. Another nominator, Professor Sakej Youngblood Henderson of the College of Law, states that Mr. Favel has long been known for superior qualities as an individual, a politician, a leader, and a business person. He has the widespread respect of Canadian Indigenous peoples. He has been and will continue to be the prime intellectual leader and architect of transforming Canadian law from colonial principles into equitable principles of law with new integrative action and cross-cultural theory. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Blaine Christopher Favel as a most, wor most worthy recipient of this honorary doctorate at the University of Saskatchewan. read the citation in a minute. <sighs> by virtue of the authority vested in me by the legislature of the province and with the consent of the Senate of this university, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa and invest you with all the powers, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Chancellor Pezzer, uh, President McKinnon, Dean Reynolds. Um, thank you for the invocation to start our, our gathering here today. And uh, a little nervous. I, uh, last degree I got from this place uh, didn't come, didn't come uh, framed, so I recommend this. Uh, <laughs> it saves me $75 when I get back to Calgary. Um, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to, uh, I'm not going to speak very long because I know it's a long program and, and the, the guests are the graduates today here, uh, my fellow alumni from the College of Education. I'd like to uh, uh, acknowledge my family that's here uh, that came out in full support today, my five sisters and my brother. Uh, three of my sisters are graduates from the College of Education, so it's a very special day for us and, and uh, my children are here, um, uh, four of them of my five are here and I, they flew in today, and I think they're uh, quite excited to get uh, to wear dress clothes and miss a day of school. Uh, <laughs> and uh, very special, very grateful that my mother is here as well. She's uh, 85 years old. Uh, her name is Lucy Fable, and maybe, Mom, if you can give them a wave. She's in the corner over there. And <laughs> I... Uh, 
I was interviewed yesterday in the Star Phoenix, and they asked me, how do you feel? And you, uh, I'm fighting the good fight of getting old, I guess, but I, uh, it was 25 years ago that I walked across the stage, and I think it was Dean Murray Scarf that was the dean then that presented me my College of Education degree. And it's, uh, I can completely relate to the graduates here today because it's, uh, it's a great honor. It's a special day. You've worked very hard. And I was pretty excited about getting my degree. I was pretty happy to be finished uh, lesson plans and unit plans and all of the, all of the like. And uh, I was very happy. I was very proud of that degree. You couldn't separate me from that degree for, uh, for anything. And uh, so we had a nice dinner. And I headed back to our community of Poundmaker. And uh, it was, uh, by the time I ended up getting home, it was, it was dark. It was quite late. And we're celebrating a little bit. And, and I stopped by the side of the road. and. Uh, Nature was calling, and so we we do as you do in country roads. We we stopped and answered it, and and uh, and uh, was very happy looking at the stars. Think what a wonderful day! I've got an education degree, and uh, never thinking I'd be here today. And then we drove off down the country road, and and uh, I was getting close to home. Actually, I was quite close to the farm, and I realized, geez, where's my degree? I'm looking all over the car. And uh, I can't find my degree. And here I had been so in love with it that I, I wanted it to admire the stars. And I had put it on the roof of the car and drove off with it. <laughs> so I had to drive back a couple miles. And, and me and my friends were looking in the ditch for my degree. So I, uh, <laughs> to all of you, I recommend you take better care of your degree. And I promise to take, take much better care of this one. When uh, I received a letter, I re received a letter in March indicating that today would be the day that I get my honorary degree. I was very, uh, I'm, I'm very humbled, I really have to say. Um, I'm, uh, I'm touched, and it, uh, it means a great deal. And I wanted, to, uh, I wanted to share a good message with the graduates today. And so I did a lot of research. I, I researched commencement addresses. I, I was trying to think who the, the great speakers were. And, uh, and I was going to actually, uh, I wasn't going to plagiarize, but I was going to be inspired by, by some peop good people's works. And, and uh, I got to thinking about just the feelings that are in the room here today, the, the pride of the graduates and the, the love of the people that are, are sitting further back in the, in the main, main level and up in the high level. It's just the, uh, today for me represents love. It re represents the love of your parents and your, your brothers and sisters and ev everyone who stood behind you to help you get to this, uh, to this day, this very important day, husbands, wives, children. And when I thought of that sentiment, the sentiment of, of love, uh, it came clear who I should uh, speak about and who, I, who inspired me uh, in my lifetime. And that was uh, my mother, Lucy Fable, who I pointed out earlier. And I think like all, all young people, at various times we struggle. And I would call, I would call my mother, I'd call her at home, and, and whether it was a, whatever crisis I was having or what seemed to be a crisis at the time probably wasn't much, I would call and ask, I'd ask my mother, you know, Mom, what do you think of this? And my mom is a really special lady. She's, uh, she's uh, 85 years old. She's raised seven of us. She was a, a community health nurse. She was a leader, just a, a kind, beautiful woman. Um, born, uh, born of a, a Scottish father and a Cree mother and was orphaned at a young age and was raised by very wise people. Her, uh, her father, who adopted her, was a fellow by the name of Horsechild. His, his Christian name was Joseph Peeman. He was the son of Big Bear. And so she has very strong connections to uh, the oral tradition of our people and, and the teachings of our people. And uh, I'd call her and always ask for advice. And she would say three things to me in these phone calls. She would say, number one would be, and this is the advice that I'm sharing, um, number one would be to pray, uh, to pray, um, to see me through what, was, what I was experiencing. And the second advice she would always say uh, was to work hard, was to work hard. And the third thing that she would say is don't hurt anybody, don't hurt anyone. And I would hang up the phone and I would say, like, like Mom, just tell me what to do, right? Don't, don't be a philosopher, and because uh, I think you want to be told what to do when you're younger. And uh, I guess as I've aged and you gain a little bit of wisdom, I've thought of, I thought of my mom's three words as I thought of my speech here today, and what, uh, what that actually means, what she was telling me, and which I now understand, which, which I perhaps didn't understand. And the first is 
on Lucy's advice to pray. So the act of prayer necessitates faith. It's an act of faith. And to have faith in a higher power, to have faith that your life is worth something, that you have meaning, that people care, and that there is a higher being, a creator, that watches out over you. Um, and I'm not one to say, we were raised not to think that Christianity was the only way, or that Muslims was the only way, or Judaism was the only way, or that our traditional beliefs were the only way as, as Native people, because we've struggled with residential schools within our communities and faith, the, the matter of faith. And Mom used to tell me a story of Chief Big Bear, who was the Grand Chief of all of the Crees at the time of settlement. And he was imprisoned in Stony Mountain Penitentiary in 1885. And he became a, he was baptized a Catholic when he was in prison. And he taught his son, who taught my mother, who taught me, who I share with you today, that uh, this great leader, he was uh, the main Sundance man, he was the main traditional leader uh, of all of our people. And he said that um, it didn't matter uh, how you prayed, that they believe in the same God. And so it's okay to pray that way, and it's okay to pray this way, as long as you acknowledge your faith and that we're all children of a higher power. And that has carried me through uh, much difficulty. I, I, uh, I think it's important to respect religions as you go forward. And I'm reminded of a, theolog a theologian. Uh, his name is Richard Rohr, who I've read some of his writings. And he speaks on religion and the various faiths that we have that make up our community. And he says, picture a crowd of people standing in a field at night looking at the moon, at, a, at the beautiful moon, and pointing at it and admiring the, the beauty of the creation and the beauty of the moon. And, and he asks the question, what is important? Is it the fingers that are pointing or is it the magnificence of the moon? And clearly it's the magnificence of the moon, the magnific magnificence of, the crea of creation and the lives that we are blessed with. So I encourage you as you go forward to have faith however you find it, however you perceive it. Uh, Lucy's second advice to us and to me was particularly to work hard, which is natural advice from a farm lady who even on the weekend was out uh, planting her, she can't walk very well, she uses a walker, but was out planting her, her bedding flowers and her pots um, uh, and put away her walker. And she's, we're a farm people, we milk cows and did chickens and the whole thing. And working hard, requires something, and something that you've all, you all have, and it's courage. The courage to get up in some days which are better than others, some days that are more difficult to go forward, and the courage and self-belief in yourself, that work hard, working hard is a, is a virtue by itself, and that requires courage. And as you go forward into your, into your professional careers, as you leave the university, um, the one thing that I encourage you to remember is that you are going to have some bad days, and you're going to have some days that are worse than others, and you will have failures. And at those times, um, be brave, have courage to get up and to face the good fight, uh, to move forward and continue to make a, a success of your life as you've demonstrated today that you are capable of. And I wish you all as you go forward to, to carry yourself with courage. The last of my mother's points, of her three points, was don't hurt anyone which is uh, subtle, it's subtle advice in there. Uh, there's a subtlety. And what she means by don't hurt anyone is to recognize that we're part of a broader community, that we are communities of families, we're a community uh, of like-minded people, we live in the same place, and to treat each other with tolerance and respect, to treat each other with kindness. And I've had the good fortune to travel extensively around the world and the one thing I can tell you is that there are few places as wonderful as Canada uh, that are tolerant, uh, that respect human rights, that give people a chance for success and uh, embrace uh, differences. So within Canada, there are many institutions that, uh, that really promote democracy, equality, and human rights. And I think none, uh, to me personally, stand out, uh, like the University of Saskatchewan. The University of Saskatchewan as noted, has pioneered the development of the Indian Teacher Education Program, the uh, Native Law Program, which has seen uh, over a thousand Native lawyers go forward into Canadian society. And as you go forward, graduates, into your careers, 
Um, I wish you Godspeed. I wish you to remember that a community is a community of fairness and of equality, and I, I ask that you strive to uh, pass that on to the children in your classrooms. And as you go forward, believe in your community. Um, as you go forward, remember the advice of my mother, which I share with you today, um, is to have faith. Have faith in yourself. Um, have courage and remember your community. So to me, this award is, is for some of my accomplishments, but none of my accomplishments would have been um, achieved with any, without any of those three things, without the support, support and love of my family and the broader community of chiefs that I once worked for. So I wish you all very, very successful graduations. Take care of that degree. Don't leave in a ditch. And uh, to all the parents out there that are very proud, congratulations, special congratulations to you. Graduates, tell your parents that you love them as, as I love my mother. Thank you. Eminent Chancellor, <clears throat> members of the Platform Party, dear graduates, families and friends. In 1946, British Poet Laureate John Macefield spoke on the subject of universities. There are few earthly things more beautiful, he said, and he continued. Religions may split into sect or heresy, dynasties may perish or be supplanted, 
but for century after century, the university will continue and the stream of life will pass through it and the thinker and the seeker will be bound together in the undying cause of bringing thought into the world. Convocation is a marvelous illustration of Macefield's stream of life. In the front rows are our graduates here to be acknowledged and celebrated for your achievements, leading to the degrees that shortly will be conferred upon you. Behind and above you are the witnesses to your success, your families and friends whom we warmly welcome in large numbers today. And in front of you are members of the university community and special guests who share the pride of you, of your families, and of your friends. The stream of life has grown since our first convocation 100 years ago. On May 1st, 1912, the first graduates of our university assembled at Nutana Collegiate in the presence of families and friends and faculty and staff. Bachelor of Arts degrees were conferred upon seven graduates and other awards and honors were announced. The first president, Walter Murray presented the annual report, and our first chancellor, Edward Ludlow Wetmore, addressed the graduates. 100 years later, we assemble in this fine theater, not in one ceremony, but in seven, to confer more than 3,000 degrees in a very broad range of disciplines and programs in our 13 colleges and three graduate schools. Today's convocation, of course, dedicated to the College of Education and our College of Education, as the Dean already has pointed out, is proudly celebrating 85 years of preparing people for many roles in educational sectors and in other fields across this province and beyond. We graduate approximately 400 newly prepared teachers each year for elementary and secondary provincially funded schools and for band-run schools. About 100 of our new teachers each year are of First Nations, Métis, or Inuit heritage. As graduates of one of our five Aboriginal teacher education programs, ITEP, SUNTEP, Saskatoon, SUNTEP, Prince Albert, NORTEP, or Northwest Territories. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the ITEP program, and we are pleased to point out that we currently offer community-based ITEP programs in several band sites. Our ATEP programs, along with our other BED grads, have moved on to take leadership roles in their communities and indeed in a wide range of government, business, and industry's top positions in Canada and beyond. Our College of Education also graduates approximately 200 graduate students each year who attain either a Master of Education degree or a PhD degree. Many of these graduates are teachers, but some come from other walks of life. Increasingly, our graduate students come from international locations to undertake their studies here at the U of S. And these graduate students gain credentials in fields such as educational psychology or in programs such as our land-based program with a focus on Aboriginal knowledge. Many of our master's programs and doctoral programs, many of the grads from these take on roles such as school psychologists or counselors, or they become professors of education in faculties of education, or they become principals, superintendents, or directors of school divisions. We have, again, as the Dean has noted, over 30,000 alumni of the College of Education. And in the Education Building, as part of our Heritage Corner, you will find photos and biographies of many who have been honorary doctorates, who have won gold medals, or climbed Mount Everest, or been part of professional sports teams. You will also find stories of those who led their way in their communities as volunteers, as inventors, as entrepreneurs, as government leaders, as Aboriginal elders, as artists, authors, and celebrities. It's a proud legacy. There are also photos of relatively unsung heroes who have devoted their careers to students, families, and communities in ways that will never be forgotten by those people. May I say to our graduates in education that I'm reminded of the importance of the challenges before you in my frequent trips to the cities and towns of this province. I have ongoing talks, have had for 13 years with teachers, guidance counselors, and students in communities large and small in Saskatchewan. I know that your role with your students will be, in a word, formative. Think about your own experience. Think about the teachers you have had over the years. Think about the impressions they made upon you. 
I do not know about you, but I can remember virtually every one of my teachers by name from grade 1 to grade 12. I can remember the good teachers and the not-so-good teachers. But most of all, I can remember the qualities and the examples of the best of them. And I remain grateful to them for their commitment and for their example. The teachers we experience in our formative early years have a formidable impact on their students and on the health of our society. I hope that as you receive your degrees today, you are reminded that you are not simply newly hooded holders of these degrees. I hope that you are reminded that your degrees mark your belonging to an intellectual tradition that has its roots in the timeless values of the academy. An international body of prominent leaders described this tradition in these words. In a society of shifting goals and uncertain values, the university must stand for something more than accurate data and reliable information, more even than useful knowledge and dependable standards. The university is the custodian, not only of knowledge, but also of the values on which that knowledge depends. Not only of professional skills, but of the ethical obligations that underlie those professional skills. Not only of scholarly inquiry, disciplined learning, and broad understanding, but also of the means that make inquiry, learning, and understanding possible. In its institutional life and professional activities, the university must reaffirm that integrity is the requirement, excellence the standard, rationality the means, community the context, civility the attitude, openness the relationship, and responsibility the obligation upon which its own existence and knowledge itself depend. Excellence, rationality, community, civility, openness, and responsibilities. Strong values for universities and strong values for our graduates. But today, we of the university community join you, your families, and friends in celebrating your success. I know that your achievements represent thoughtfulness, determination, struggle, and a fair measure of anxiety. But you are here, and you deserve to be here warmest congratulations and very best wishes in the years to come. Eminent Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the University Senate and Board, I present to you the petition of this University and, the council, and its Council that the candidates to be named, having fulfilled all the requirements of the bylaws, may, with your permission, be admitted to the degrees and certificates to which they are entitled. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Legislature of this province, and with the consent of the Council of this University, I consent to admit you to the degrees and certificates to which you are entitled and to invest you with all the powers, rights, and privileges pertaining thereto. Would the graduands in the front row please rise and come to the platform. And graduands, as, uh, as you approach the platform, I'm going to explain how the conferring of degrees will unfold. As you near the first podium, please stop and face the audience as the hood is placed over your shoulders. Once you've been hooded, proceed to the first podium where the dean or the associate dean of your college will present each of you by name. Then, once your name has been announced, proceed to shake the hand of the chancellor, who will tell you that you have been admitted to the convocation of the University of Saskatchewan. Then you'll continue across the platform to be greeted by the president, who will uh, give you your parchment. And as you go down the steps, you will be greeted by members of the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Education, I present to you these scholars and ask that you confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Education.
I present to you Jamie Linnea Akers. Marcia Lauren Adams, with great distinction. <laughs> Stephen Roy Adnam, with distinction. <laughs> Brenda Marlene Anderson, with distinction. Whitney Lee Anderson, with distinction. Caitlin May Armstrong, with distinction. Taylor M. Balin, Balin, Stacy Yvonne Baptist, with distinction. <laughs> Julie Ella Barteski, with distinction. <laughs> Kelly Gay Bell, with distinction. <laughs> Alex John Bergerman, yeah. Bergerman with distinction. <laughs> Amy Nicole Belinsky. <laughs> Sarah Lynn Binsfeld with distinction. Joran Johannes Blom. <laughs> Carolyn Denise Bodner, with great distinction. <laughs> Stacy Janine Bolt. <laughs> Emma. Sorry, Irma Carla Bonese. Leanne J. Bonese. Jason Braden Bourdon. Benjamin Murray Bourgeois. Jordan. Nicole Christine Borlan, with distinction. <laughs> Kelly Renice Renzi, sorry, Bouvier. Monica Don Bran. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Brown with great distinction. <laughs> Mitchell Justice Byrne with distinction. Caroline Elaine Marie Caldwell. <laughs> Michael Brian Kalfas. <laughs> Alicia Catherine Campbell with distinction.
Jessica R. Campbell with distinction. Karen Yvonne Canales Portillo with distinction. <laughs> Brittany R. Casavant with distinction. <laughs> Todd Cavanaugh with distinction. Christelle Claire Celstino. Celstino. <laughs> Dustin James Chahali? Chaley. Chaley with distinction. <laughs> Shu Chen with distinction. David Choi. Paget James Code with distinction. Brittany Amanda Colson. Brianne. Lauren Cooper with distinction. Cowan. Cowan. Peter James Cowan with great distinction. <laughs> Scott Perry Crawford with distinction. Nicole Janine Curry with distinction. Dakota Rainey Day. Eric Ludmark Deconic Smith with distinction. Lori Teresa Durkachenko with distinction. <laughs> Charles George Wesley Devon. <laughs> Janelle Caitlin Yvonne Digny with distinction. Reese Landon Digny with distinction. <laughs> Mitchell Leon Dopker with distinction. <laughs> Kyle Steven Donsberger with distinction. Mandy Lynn Dumay. Dupre. Danielle Jordan Dupre. <laughs> Megan Marie Dick. Ashley Aaron Eisel with distinction. Albardo. Albardo. Iman Albardo with distinction. Mesa. 
Rebecca Ann Mazur Elson, with distinction. Jade April Ernest. Shannon Michelle Evans. Tanya Lynn Fergus Ferguski. Fergus Key. <laughs> Jocelyn R. Friesen with distinction. <laughs> Tyler James Friesen with distinction. Bailey Jure Gabora. <laughs> Brianne Elise Gerwing. Andra Jean Gieslison with distinction. Shanna Lynn Gurley with distinction. Kelsey Taylor Graff with distinction. Meredith Grace Greenshields with distinction. Carly Marissa Gress with distinction. Amanda Marie Greeman with distinction. Jesse Ann Grills. Nina Antoinette Guigan, with great distinction. <laughs> Jell Hagen, with distinction. <laughs> Emily Rose Hartle, Rhea Megan Hartley, with great distinction. <laughs> Ashley Hogan. <laughs> Kelsey Alana Heath, with distinction. Lisa Marie Hedlin with distinction. And thank you. Erica Lynn Helfrick with distinction. Amanda Mary Elizabeth Heron. Brian James Hildebrand with distinction. <laughs> Michaela Karen Hill. <laughs> Jessica Hoover with distinction. Jeffrey David Emmanuel Horbe with distinction.
Stephanie Linda Taylor House with distinction. Christy Lee Husselak. Ryan Thomas Hutchinson with distinction. Dana Lynn Inkster with distinction. Melanie Faith Alexandra Iron. Jeremy Kevin Joa with distinction. Corey Evan Johnson with distinction. Julie Ann Johnson. <laughs> Keith Donald Johnson with distinction. <laughs> Rebecca Jolene Johnson with distinction. Jonathan Calvin Kashawatam with distinction. Cassandra Victoria Kent with distinction. Kevin James Kermack with distinction. Kyla Aaron Key. <laughs> Heather Shannon Kayla Keys with distinction. <laughs> Mark Andrew Killestoff with distinction. Jennifer Lee Kinzel. John Harold Knaus with distinction. Kelsey Elise Knobloch with distinction. Spencer Thomas Knowles. <laughs> Jacqueline Marie Konechny with distinction. <laughs> Daniel Francis Koski. Elise Chantal Lavoy. <laughs> Megan Elaine Leach. <laughs> Jesse Lester Krush. Tyler James Lindsay with distinction. <laughs> Lee.
Lisa Marie Livingston. Brianna Maria Lucician. William Reginald McLean, with great distinction. Lenny Carlene Mansway. Claudia Jeanvive Marcos. With distinction. Ashley Brett Marie Martin. Catherine Lynn Roxanne Martin. Denial Ray Daniel Daniel Ray Martineau with distinction. <laughs> Kathy Sylvia Martinek with distinction. <laughs> Leanne Marie Massey with distinction. <laughs> Anna Maria Matamala with distinction. <laughs> Jennifer Ray Mawson with distinction. Jill Kathleen McIver with great distinction. Hazel Margaret McLaughlin, with distinction. Faith Kalinda McLean, with distinction. Brittany Marie Mina, with distinction. Amy Lee Murkowski, with great distinction. <laughs> Scott Christopher Mickelson, with distinction. <laughs> Danica Gwen Miller, with distinction. Catherine Ann Miller, with distinction. Christy Callianne Mitchell, with distinction. Jeffrey Brian Robert Moore. Aiden Rochelle Morari, thank you, with, dis with distinction. Aiden. Janiel Rose Ann Morin, with distinction. Haley Catherine Minch with great distinction. <laughs> Amy Elizabeth Mufford, with distinction. Carly Lynn Murray, with distinction.
Ashley Aaron Nelson. Joe Hayes Nelson. Ashley Irene Dorothy Newfeld with distinction. Janelle Dawn Ocrane. Janelle Dawn Ocrane with great distinction. Haley Patricia Oliver with distinction. <laughs> Ashley Marie Ottenbrett with distinction. <laughs> Laura Victoria Padfield with distinction. Nicole Lynn Inez Pambram. <laughs> Robert Gordon Paul with great distinction. <laughs> Melissa Marie Peltier with distinction. Joan Marie Perlet. Bradley Vernon H. Peters. There we go. Jeffrey Allen Petty. Go, go! <laughs> Danielle Elise Paikawi. Adam Dennis Pike. <laughs> Catherine Ann Petura. Caitlin Marie Prokosh, with distinction. <laughs> Megan Amanda Reist, with distinction. <laughs> Trenna Sue Reynolds, with distinction. Kirsten Alicia Rybot, with distinction. <laughs> Marissa Kathleen Robert, with distinction. Arlene Candace Roberts. Alexandria McClure Robertson Borsma. Borsma with distinction. <laughs> Laura Theron Elizabeth Robin with distinction. <laughs> Jeremy Adam Rollheiser. Jennifer Lynn Rospad, with distinction.
<laughs> Martine Yvonne Ross with distinction. <laughs> Jamie Lynn Rugg with distinction. Michelle Lynn Russell, with distinction. Nathan Carl Rutten, with great distinction. Katie Rose Ryan, with distinction. Stacy Aaron Sawa with distinction. <laughs> Angela K. Shindelka with distinction. <laughs> Chris Edward Schmidt Watt. Juanita Lynn Schweibius, with distinction. <laughs> Riley Morgan Sh Semchuk, with distinction. <laughs> Kara Kathleen Shabatowski, with distinction. Melanie Dawn Chillington, with distinction. <laughs> Maria Jennifer Shumliak. Marla Shumliak. Marla Shumliak. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> with distinction. Philip Andre Siemens, with distinction. <laughs> Stacy Lee Sherdahl, with distinction. <laughs> Elizabeth Claire Windsor Smith, with great distinction. I'm sorry, I said it backwards. <laughs> Elizabeth Claire Smith Windsor with great distinction. <laughs> Brooke Allen Spafford. <laughs> Ashley Giselle Stalwick with distinction. Simon Ernest Stain, with distinction. <laughs> Deborah Lee Steele, with distinction. <laughs> Nichelle Dawn Christine Stever with distinction. <laughs> Kathleen Ruth Stewart. <laughs> Natalie Ann Stewart, with distinction. Amanda Dawn Stillborn, with distinction. Yeah. 
Dylan Brand Sven Bjornsson. Clinton Lester Swiftwolf. Barbara E. Tanner, with distinction. Alexander Ryan Lee Topisim, with distinction. Alexis Brianne Taylor, with distinction. Jennifer Joanne Taylor, with distinction. Katie Gwen Lee Tarek Steiner, with great distinction. Joelle Janet Tiffin, with distinction. Alyssa Lauren Van Norman, with distinction. Elizabeth Marie Vigneron. Jason Edmund Roy Wager, with distinction. Sarah Michelle Walker, with distinction. Monique Danielle Wallen, with distinction. <laughs> Sean Paul Webster. <laughs> Brianne M. Waitman, with distinction. Kendra Francine Weimer. Darren Francis Weinroth. Lauren Elizabeth Weir with distinction. Trisha Lynn Whitecalf. Angelica Marie Weeb. Daryl Roland Wolf. Greg Ken Wojtowicz. <laughs> Angela Joan Yedersberger, with distinction. <laughs> Julian Denton Yao, with distinction. (laughs) 
Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Education, I present to you these scholars and ask that you will confer on them the combined degrees of Bachelor of Education, Bachelor of Music in Music Education. I present to you <laughs> Ryan Raymond Joseph Gordou with Goudreau, <laughs> with distinction. <laughs> Kelsey Dawn McGill, <laughs> with distinction. Jennifer Ann Pearson. Andrew William Webster, with distinction. <laughs> Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Education, I present to you these scholars and ask that you will confer on them the post-degree certificate in education, special education. <laughs> Stephanie Lynn Denton. Daryl Garth Finch. Marcia Corinne Nash. Andrea Suzanne Peters. Tracy Ann Janet Schnell Pearson. <laughs> Heather Ann Agnew Kisinyuk. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the faculty, no, no, I should stop. Please join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree of Bachelor of Education, the combined degree of Education Bachelor of Music in Education, and the post degree certificate in Education, Special Education. Thank you. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of the Faculty of Education, I present to you these scholars from the College of Education and ask that you will confer on them the degree of Master of Education. I present to you Vince Boyd Anderson. Brian Timothy Austin. <laughs> Natalie Jade Ballack. <laughs> Charles Paul Bazin Webster. Kim Lewis Baulio. <laughs> Raquel Kim Beam. <laughs> Victoria Bodner. Candice Dawn Brentno. <laughs> David Paul Carter. <laughs> Ch 
Sharon Lynn Champ. Shenwa Chen. Jodine Nicole Coates. Denise Michelle Cooper. William David Cooper. Yvonne Marie Day. Heather Kim Debert. Christopher Michael Depker. Jennifer Catherine Dorval. Tyler Patrick Duick. Carly Joelle Eng. Lisa Louise Fleming. Andrea Shannon Fosnov. Michelle Diane Godet. Zafia Gell. Ronald Henry Georgette. Terry Lynn Marie Gresty. Karen Lynn Hadwin. John Arlie Harkness. Ryan Henry Hauber. Heather Ray Hayes. <laughs> Catherine Ann Johnston. <laughs> Zed Go Johnstone. Shirley Ann Jones. Kirk Jeffrey Kazima.
Lloyd Wayne Lelliberti. David Keith Larwood. Adele Marie Lay. Leanne Michelle Lomax Forden. Margaret Lydia Matilla Baines. Matthew Thomas McCaw. Bonnie J. Mahalitz. Maria Amita Montero. David Aaron Osoup. Carmen Mackenzie Lee Peasley. Darwin George Roy. Ali Farah Samini. <laughs> Alice Faye Sand. <laughs> Lindsay J. Shaw. Dan Shi Rhonda Marlene Simon Denise Mary Sinclair Tracy Lenore Walker. Shout Wong. <laughs> Carrie Ann Wyman. Colleen Shannon Whitford. Angela Dawn Weeb. Ren Reginald Ernest Wyack. Wyack. Monksy Yang. Xiaojo <laughs> Yi.
Yanfeng Zhao. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating the recipients of the degree of the Master of Education in the College of Graduate Studies and Research. It's my pleasure to present uh, to you our PhD graduate. Um, as is the custom at the University of Saskatchewan uh, convocation ceremonies, once presented to the uh, chancellor, she will be met by her supervisor and the dean of the college in which she studied and escorted to join the platform party in a symbolic welcome to a global community of scholars. Eminent Chancellor, I present uh, to you on behalf of the College of Graduate Studies and Research, um, Rosalind Ann Hardy, and ask that you confer on her the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating once again Rosalind. Eminent Chancellor, in the name of the faculties, I ask you to grant the degrees and certificates in absentia to those students who have met the requirements to graduate, but were not able to be present today. At the request of the faculties, I authorize these degrees and certificates to be granted. Could I ask Elizabeth Smith Windsor to come and join me at the podium? <laughs> <laughs> Madam Chancellor, the winner of the most distinguished graduate in education and the Saskatchewan Teachers Federation Prize this uh, convocation is Elizabeth Smith Windsor. Elizabeth was born and raised in Saskatoon, where she attended and graduated from Holy Cross High School with a bilingual diploma in 2008. While earning her bilingual diploma, Elizabeth displayed her capacity as a scholar, earning the Governor General's Academic Medal. A multi-talented individual, Elizabeth has many and varied interests. She enjoys music, as demonstrated through her three-year participation as a member in the U of S Wind Orchestra and as an active member of the music ministry at Holy Spirit Parish in Saskatoon. Elizabeth also loves outdoor activities, especially camping and canoeing, and has had a long-term relationship with Scouts Canada, both as a member and a Cub Scout leader. In fact, Elizabeth was inducted as a Baden-Powell Fellow of the World Scout Foundation by His Majesty the King of Sweden in 2010 and currently she sits on Scouts Canada's National Board of Governors. At the same time that Elizabeth reached outstanding levels of scholarly achievement, she has also demonstrated excellence in teaching. The following quote from those who worked with her during her field experience offers a sense of Elizabeth's qualities. Elizabeth is very reflective. She self-evaluated and adapted her teaching regularly. She takes initiative and works hard. She obviously enjoys young children, and they enjoy her. Elizabeth spent time with children before, during, and after school, getting to know them and learning about their interests, strengths, and needs. Students trusted Elizabeth. 
often asking her for help and guidance. She has been a valuable part of our school staff. Please join me in congratulating Elizabeth as uh, she takes up her new teaching position in the French Immersion Kindergarten at Cardinal Loger School. Elizabeth, you are an inspiration. Eminent Chancellor, Mr. President, platform participants, graduates, and guests. As a member of the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association, it is my pleasure to congratulate the class of 2012 and to welcome each of you as our association's newest members. Today, as you receive your degree, your relationship with the university changes forever. You are now a member of the University of Saskatchewan Alumni Association. You have joined our alumni family, a family with a storied history of excellence, a family of well-accomplished and distinguished alumni. Those that have gone before you in the College of Education include Pat Atkinson, one of the longest standing MLAs in Saskatchewan. George LaFond, the Treaty Commissioner for Saskatchewan, and Tyler Weiss, included in the top 40 under 40 list for BC uh, or, or for Business Vancouver. Clearly, you are in good company, and deservedly so. You are the next generation of alumni who will carve your own path and add chapters to the story of a great university over a century in the making. As you embark on new endeavors and build your careers, be sure to draw on your fellow alumni. Remember the role this institution has played in your life and make a conscious effort to keep in touch. But most importantly, display the degree that you have received today with pride, wherever you are, to let the world know that you are a difference maker and a leader. You now have the knowledge and tools to make a difference, and we can't wait to see what you'll do next. On behalf of all of us who have come before you, a very warm welcome and heartfelt congratulations. Welcome to the University of Saskatchewan alumni family. This brings our convocation ceremony to a close, but before we do, I would like to thank a number of people. First, Darren Oler King and the University Wind Orchestra. Our vocalist, Allison Walmsley. Traditional knowledge keeper, Robert Badger. Our signer, Jerry Markin. Danielle Rodulier, Convocation Coordinator, all the members of her team and all of the college staff who work behind the scenes to make these ceremonies a success. You will note from your program that this is the last series of convocations for Peter McKinnon. On behalf of Convocation, I want to thank him for his 13 years of distinguished service to the university as our president and vice chancellor, and to announce that the Board of Governors has determined that he be granted President Emeritus status. Finally, to the graduates, Enjoy today and savor your success. 
The degree you receive today is an important key to your future, but it is not your only acquisition. It combines with other important but less tangible benefits which have shaped you and will contribute to who you are in the future. For the rest of your life, you will retain a treasure of memories from your time at the University of Saskatchewan, of faculty who made a difference, of your fellow students and experiences, some enriching, and if a few happen to be less so, you are still learning. You are an alumnus of a proud and successful university. Take that legacy with you wherever you go. For the past few years, you have worked to change your world. Now it is time for you to help us change our world. The University of Saskatchewan is the bond that unites us all because we have all been touched in one way or another by our experience as part of this university. Those who came before us established this bond. Now I ask you to help ensure that it remains strong in the future.